This bout is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Orlando, Florida, Jasmine Unlure. Taz, is Orlando, Florida close to Hellgate, Florida? It's, uh, it's fair to Midland. <laughs> Jasmine Allure making her AEW Dark debut, AEW debut. We will see what she has to offer against a, uh, a as you mentioned, Taz, a very fired up Thunder Rosa. And her opponent, from the graveyards of Tijuana, Mexico, Thunder Rosa. Yeah, to your point, you know, don't, don't let that smile fool you, ladies and gentlemen, watching right now on YouTube here, because Thunder Rosa, like you said, Excalibur, fired up. She's an ultra-intense competitor and a very dangerous woman for sure. So this young competitor she's going against, Miss Alors, is probably going to have a, <laughs> a hands full immensely here. Thunder Rosa, of course, last week on AEW Dynamite, she was being interviewed by our own Alex Marvez and Dr. Britt Baker and Rebel ambushed her, continuing the assault, saying once again that Thunder Rosa doesn't belong in AEW. She's an outsider, Taz. I think she's a very welcome addition to the AEW women's division. Of course, I'm not the locker room leader like the doctor is. You're definitely not, <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> nor am I. But, uh, you know, and I have nothing but respect for Dr. Britt Baker. She's a close personal friend of mine, and we get free dental care in Team Taz. That's a whole other story. But, I do think Thunder Rosa also, Thunder Rosa belongs for sure. She's, she's part of our, our family, in my opinion. Right now, she's changing some wrist locks, top wrist lock. Now we see Rosa with a top wrist lock. Stepping behind the leg of Jasmine Allure, using that leverage to drive, drive her down and sweeps out the leg. Lateral press here, just a one count. Did she realize Allure was about to get into a bridge, so she swept out that leg, goes back to that top wrist lock, or some would consider it a key lock up top. Jasmine Allure making her way back up to the feet. Her swift into the ropes. Oh, swept out the leg of Thunder Rosa. And Allure with a double foot drop kick takes down Thunder Rosa, hooks the far leg. Barely a one count, though. Yeah, you got to try to get all your body weight on top of someone like Thunder Rosa. She's, you know, she, it's going to be tough to get a victory oh. over that early. Wow, what a shot. <laughs> Blistering knee shot. strike from Thunder Rosa right there. Yeah, well, she's also, you know, highly trained Muay Thai kickboxing is Thunder Rosa besides her grappling abilities. So, you know, she's, she's a hybrid fighter. That's what she really is. Oh, Jasmine Lure getting brutalized by those kicks right between the shoulder blades, and this could be a oh, preview. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, double knee strike of what Thunder Rosa would have in store for Dr. Britt Baker were she to get her hands on her. Covers here. Smart veteran move. She realized her opponent was close to the rope, so she was going to go for a cover, get her away from the rope so she can't use the bottom rope for, you know, a, a break. Yeah, forcing forcing the kick out, forcing her opponent to expend energy. Nice body shot right there. And Thunder Rosa, of course, as we mentioned, has been, uh, has been training on her strikes with uh, our, our oftentimes broadcast partner here on AEW Dark, Anthony Agogo. Yes, that's a great guy. Oh, oh to deal with striking for sure. Cover here after the power slam. Two count again, Jasmine Allure, not out of this fight yet. Yeah, she's shown some heart, this young lady is for sure. Jasmine bringing, trying to bring herself back up to a vertical base, but Thunder Rosa pressing the attack here. Oh, oh man. A lot of power in that chop. Some people might think, well, how can a chop really hurt? Listen. Oh, yeah, it's just <laughs> right in the sternum. It's just a thudding, painful. Deal, man. Another one's coming. Oh, another back elbow. That's a nice shot right there. Now, quick Ukemi roll, and here comes Thunder Rosa. Oh, nobody home. She created some distance, but Jasmine Allure capitalizing. Oh, nice. Well done. Quick roll into that round kick to the back. Allure trying to get a few moves together. Casadora, what's going on here? Casadora, no! Jasmine Allure turned things around, hooks the leg. Didn't quite have yeah. the weight evenly distributed on the shoulders of Thunder Rosa there. It's a tough cover right there. You know, I understood she, the young lady ended up in that spot sitting on her opponent, but you got to have quick hip spin. Oh, God, what a chop. Ooh. The strike was on, on the point. On point. Kick to the midsection. Has her doubled over. Single leg drop kick to the side of the head. Want to remind fans that AEW Dynamite will be on tomorrow night at 10 o'clock or after the conclusion of the NBA on TNT. 
Don't want to miss it. It's Thunder Road. Oh! God. Fire Thunder Driver. Got to be it. Hooks the leg and three. The winner of this match, Thunder Rosa. Told you she was in a pissed off mood. <laughs> you could say almost a Taz esque mood. I'm coming for you, man! She hates Britt Baker. Why would you piss off Rosa? Well, it's easy to see why. And Thunder Rosa <laughs> is fired up, and she has Britt Baker in her sights. Oh, Alora oh, lands right on her upper spine there. Pinfall is fundamental right there. It's, you're not kicking out. It's just not happening. Absolutely not. An impressive victory here tonight for Thunder Rosa on AEW Dark. This is the story of Matt and Nick Jackson, seen through their eyes. Over the past 20 years, they have documented their tireless journey, their triumphs, and their tribulations. And now, they are ready to share their adventures with the world in their new book. One day, let's grow up and let's be professional wrestlers. This is the story of two brothers that became two loving fathers that went on to become the best tag team in professional wrestling today. This is the story of the Young Bucks killing the business. Young Bucks, we're killing the business.